India's most celebrated boom story. In just over a decade, the number of mobile phone connections has exploded to nearly 800 million. But there's a problem. Only a small fraction of those millions of users can message each other in English or the Roman script. For everyone else, sending a simple SMS is either difficult or downright impossible. I don't have English in Hindi, I do it in Hindi. And in Hindi, there are a lot of difficulties in Hindi, like if you have to give a lot of money on the phone, you have to give a lot of money on the phone, and if you have to give a lot of money on the phone, you have to give a lot of money on the phone. कई बार बटन दबानी पड़ती है फिर जाके सेव होता है फिर दिक्कतें आती है पढ़ना लिखना तो उतना आता नहीं है हिंदी में भी नहीं लिख पाते हैं जी मैं तो कोली करना पसंद करता हूं क्योंकि जब मैसेज नहीं लिखने आता है तो कोली कर लेता हूं। बट देर इज होप फॉर दो स्ट्रगलिंग टू यूज देर फोन एंड इट कम्स फ्रॉम दिस कंपनी ल्यूना इर्गोनॉमिक्स वर्किंग आउट ऑफ दिस वन रूम ऑफिस इन डेली सबर्स दे हैव डेवलप्ड सॉफ्टवेयर कॉल्ड पनीनी की पैड It allows users to type out messages in a language or script of their choice. Panini keypad is a new technology. It allows, allows you to type in all, in all languages, languages of in all languages of on the mobile phone, on a basic phone like this, without the need of printed characters on the keypad, and yet offers a means which is extremely easy to use, extremely fast, and ergonomic to the thumb, and that. Uh, it allows you to write in Hindi faster than you can write in English. The key to Panini is simplicity. This Hindi version, for instance, displays characters on a phone screen. Users look for the characters they want and then press the indicated key. With one character selected, Panini predicts and displays the characters most likely to follow. If the desired character isn't on screen, the user simply has to hit a button and a fresh set of characters appear. Panini's approach makes it easy for users to type both proper nouns and slang, something the usual dictionary-based software struggle with. The dictionary-based prediction is the common sense approach to it, you know, giving you words that you allow you to type in all languages in all languages of phone is full of names of people and places. You could be asking, sending an SMS saying, Abhijit, I can't find where is JSS Engineering College. Or I am waiting outside Mamura Chalk and this is just outside the Fortis Hospital. So in these sentences, you have had so much of non-dictionary words inside it, right? This is typical stuff that you could be writing. So in the dictionary-based predictions, you would have to switch the dictionary off to write such things. Panini's ability to predict comes from clever statistical analysis. The programming team scans blog in target languages and uses the data to make better predictions. Blogs are ideal because their language is both contemporary and informal, just like in a text message. Data collection जो है वो basically हम blog से collect करते हैं। Blog में भी data के नीचे देखना पड़ता है, like 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 communication में हम words use करते हैं। वो अगर हमें मिल जाएगा तो ज़्यादा अच्छा रहेगा मीन्स लाइक like कुछ न्यूज़ से कंटेंट हो गया कुछ एंटरटेनमेंट हो गया कुछ एजुकेशनल बैकग्राउंड से कंटेंट हो गया इस तरह से सभी का मिक्सअप होता है लैंग्वेज हम कलेक्ट कर लेते हैं और उसके बाद फिर उसका स्टेटिकल पैटर्न और रिलेशन हमें देखना पड़ता है किसी और पर्सन से जो नए लैंग्वेज को जानता है उससे वेरीफाई कराते हैं इस तरह से काम होता है ऑल दी हार्ड वर्क दैन हेयर पेज ऑफ द टेक्नोलॉजी अलाउज पनी टू बी यूज इन अ रेंज ऑफ लैंग्वेजेस In its Indian avatar, Panini supports everything from Hindi to Malayalam. And the foreign version, called Clever Texting, supports nine languages from Spanish to Swahili. But Panini isn't just versatile with languages, it can also work on just about any phone. It can work on all phones, allows you to work on all, in all languages, languages, in all languages of it. On the phones, you know, it will work on a basic phone like this. It may be a smartphone where it will be a Java app. It could also be a low-cost thousand rupees phone where the technology could be embedded. It will work on a touch phone with the same usability. It will work on a QWERTY phone where you know you can use a subset of the keys to type in a region language. But while Panini may be friendly to phones, their manufacturers have stayed away. The team at Luna has struggled to convince phone makers to offer Panini directly to users. The biggest problem, like I told you, is dealing with 
in all languages of put it into all languages of today they take their time and then even after they have taken a decision there is they are not as nimble footed so uh, things like that and we also are well, go through the danger of people trying to steal your stuff imitate your stuff things like that and that can also be large companies we are already experiencing panini website proudly its indian roots it's also the main source for distribution users can download the software for just 150 rupees and transfer it to their phones panini simplicity is helping people reach out to family and friends even with those who speak fluent english find it useful it makes my life very simple whenever i want to send any message to anybody you know like it is very easy for me you know like, you know like uh, it is very easy, easy for me i have a you friend know, who is in saudi arabia and i don't know much you know like in arabic but yes in fact um, uh, whenever i try to send you know like the sms in arabic it is very easy for me you know, you know to type the arabic uh, in, uh, like, uh, script through this um, uh, panini keypad software and the technology Meanwhile, Abhijit Bhattacharjee and his team are spreading Panini's wings to cover to more languages at home and abroad.